But let's go all the way up to this pinnacle here and see what we got going on. Yeah, it comes up on this butte here. Fascinating territory, though. I, I, I like to... It's just kind of fun to come and explore some of this and take a look at it. Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go do some more random POIs, but we're going to do some random POIs in the desert because I want to uh, go into the desert and um, see if we can find some uh, rabbits and chickens. I am just not having any luck finding that stuff um, here. So uh, we're going to switch out of our hazmat stuff to... Uh, or at least our hazmat pants, because they uh, they don't help keep us cool very well. Um, so let's put these shorts on. And it looks like we also need to repair our armor. So let's just stick you in here for now. <clears throat> and uh, we'll, we'll just re-gear with the hazmat stuff when we go do our next tier 5 in my next live stream. Okay, so we've got a full thing of steel chest armor here. Fully repaired. Um, that's only going to give us two or three slots. That'll give us three slots. Okay. And what we're currently wearing is giving us four slots. But even if I attempt to repair this with a combine, I don't think it's going to stay. In fact, I'm, I know for sure it's not going to stay pink. Okay. So that means we got to take all of this stuff off. And I mean, we can, we can just throw them in there really quick and see what it does. But I'm sure it's not going to. Yeah, it, it uh, well, it does get it to 792, which is pretty significant in terms of the armor. So right now that's 15. Yeah, this will still give us the uh, the 15 armor. It's just not quite as durable. So, yeah, we're going to do that. And we're going to do that. We still only get the three slots, though. So uh, we want this for sure, this for sure. And because we're going into the desert, we want that one. Uh, no, not modify where. Excellent. Okay, we'll put the the winter bio mod in here for now and uh oh you know what the other thing i wanted to do actually is i want to go sell all of our stuff or most of our stuff we've got so much stuff you guys i talked about this in the last episode um it's just i got stuff coming out my ears and i talked about how i'm not gonna uh i'm not going to try it and repair all this stuff to get more money from it just because there's nothing for me to buy at the trader. It's absolutely nothing there. Um, they just have basic stuff, nothing spectacular. All of my good weapons and tools and armor that I get, I get from looting or from quest rewards. Uh, and I've I heard that it's that way by design that the Ravenhurst, uh, you know, that the mod uh, authors made it that way on purpose so I can get pissed off about it. No. <laughs> I don't know why they did it. I guess they want us to, to get all of our good stuff from questing. So, uh, and, and what I'm trying to say is the traders are basically, for, in terms of buying anything from them, they're almost worthless. About the only thing I can think of that I would maybe buy from them at this point is for getting the elixir if I wanted to do a respec. But other than that, it's like they just don't have anything that good. Uh, which means I don't want to take a lot of time and resources to go through and try and repair everything just to get more money when that money's not doing me a whole lot of good. Okay, so that's what that's the bottom line. So what that means is I'm going to go through, I'm not going to sell every single thing I have, and I am going to keep a couple of each item, you know, for co combined repairs later on, that sort of thing. But the majority of the stuff, we're just going to flat out sell uh, as it is. I'm not going to repair it. I'm not going to screw with it. Okay, so that being said, uh, let me get a load of shit in the four by, and then we're going to run over to the trader's and we're going to sell stuff. And then after that, we'll head to the desert and do some random POIE. Okay, so I'll be back in a bit. Okay, here we are at Trader Dickheads. Uh, what I'm going to do is take a sugar butt. And we are just loaded with shit. <laughs> we got so much stuff, it's ridiculous. Uh, let's put the sugar butts in here. I've got, and keep in mind too, I mean, I've got piles of coin already back at the base. So I know some of you are probably cringing that I'm selling this without repairing it. But honestly, 
it's one of those things, guys, where it doesn't make sense to to do it. Uh, not to me anyway. So um, there you go. All right. So let's uh, start selling this shit. And um, I'll try and sell the more valuable ones. Actually, you know what? I don't even think I'm going to mess with that. Just sell this shit. Just get rid of it. We need the room. All right, so we've already made <laughs> 45,000 coin. Okay, just imagine how much we would have made if I would have repaired all this. But again, I mean, what am I going to do with it, right? So anyway, I'm going to stop justifying myself to you guys. This is what we're doing, and you, you're going to like it. <laughs> or you don't have to like it. I don't give a shit. We're just doing it. It's all about making more space for our inventory. That's what it's about right now. <clears throat> okay, so I have... What am I wearing right now? Okay, I'm wearing these. My luckies are back in my motorcycle. My good luckies that are plus five. Okay, so we made 50,000, 53,000 and change of coin by selling all that stuff direct. And then the rest of this stuff, we are going to go uh, down and sell to Trader Gin. And I still have more stuff back at the base too. I mean, I did, I could do a probably another, at least full load, maybe even load and a half to get all of it. But at least this, you know, freed up some space for us. You know, it's an interesting, it's an interesting situation to think about because the decision that the Ravenhurst devs made. Um, to nerf the traders has has really kind of broken the commerce in this game, especially in the end game, right? Because what good is it for a player in the end game to have <clears throat> piles and piles of coin and nothing to spend that coin on? You know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't like the decision that they made to nerf the traders, um, because. It just, you know, at, at some point, if let, let's let just say hypothetically that I kept playing for, you know, another hundred episodes or whatever. I'm, I'm not planning on that, but if that did happen, I would get to the point, guys, where I would just throw shit away. I mean, if it's not an, an immediate upgrade for me, there's no point taking it back to the base, storing it, having it take up space, you know, with the intention of eventually trying to sell it if there's no point. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know. I just, I, I don't know if they thought that through all the way, or maybe they did and said, fuck it, I don't care anyways. That's just the way this mod's going to be. Um, but what it will ultimately result in, like I said, is players just throwing shit on the ground because there's no point in keeping it. You know what I mean? So anyway, that's, that's my two cents worth on the whole deal. All right, let's go sell. Maybe we can get the rest of this sold to Joel here. Sounds like we got a buzzard out there. Oh, in here, I mean. Get out of here. You're welcome, Joel. Let's take this bastard's knee out. Okay. <clears throat> so we still have... Two ratchets to sell to Jin. Let's take a look at our inventory. I mean, we've got money, literally have money to throw away now. <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing in secret stash to write home to mother about. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... Do you have a... You got a... Does she have a, a forget the elixir? Uh, does, wait a minute. Does that even exist in Ravenhurst? I never bothered to look for it before. Oh, yeah. Right here. It's 60,000 coin. 
Okay. Well, I okay. I don't. Back. I don't need it right now, but um, I just wanted to make sure it was there in case we do decide to spend one and a half times the money on it later on, like we would in vanilla. But literally, I mean, you know, that's. She has nothing else that I would buy. There's just no point. I'm gonna buy this though. Um, I don't really need that other stuff. Okay, well, it is what it is. You know, it's just another part of the Ravenhurst experience that we all got to get used to if we're going to play the mod, you know. Um, I definitely will do things a little bit differently next time around, though. Uh, for example, I'm not going to put any points at all into Better Barter. That was a complete waste of points. And, you know, that's I, I could, you know, use the Forget and Elixir to, to erase them, and I might even actually do that at some point, but still... You know, knowing what I know now, it was not worth doing that, even at the time. So, yeah, live and learn, right? Let's go to the desert. Man, we are in some seriously nasty terrain here. Look at this place. Very rugged. All right, let's just stop here for a second and take a look at our map. Yeah, I've, uh, I actually, on the motorcycle, went all around down through here, and there, there is no passage between here and there without going over some seriously rugged mountains. I ended up actually winding up coming back, uh, you know, to this town here. I thought about it at some point, just for the hell of it, it'd be quite a task, but digging a tunnel under the mountains to get to this town because there's no way to get to it. There's no roads, uh, you know, from the forest to it. It's just kind of out there all by itself. And it's got quite a few buildings and a big, you know, bus depot, which is like six gas tanks or even eight, six or eight gas tanks. It's like a really good gas station. Um, but, yeah, we're we're in some some nasty shit. And if we look, you know, directly north... You know, looking up through here, I mean, that's what we got. <laughs> that's some rugged terrain, man. Holy crap. We're not we're not likely to be able to get through here on the 4 by that's for sure. Um, Let's just kind of walk up this canyon really quick just to see what's here. It's it's neat. I, I mean, I like, I like it. And it's very, it's kind of fascinating to see how the random gin created all this. But passable, I don't know about that. Maybe, I mean... See now, you could get up. You could get up through here on a vehicle, up to this point. So it might be a situation where we could tunnel. You know, start a tunnel like here and not have to tunnel through the mountain at its base, but just kind of make a pass or something. But let's go all the way up to this pinnacle here and see what we got going on. Yeah, it comes up on this butte here. Fascinating territory, though. I, I I like to... It's just kind of fun to come and explore some of this and take a look at it. Okay, so there's another valley down there, but then there's more mountains that would have to be passed somehow. So what you could do is build a tunnel just through this mountain. That wouldn't be that bad. And then we could come back down there and then build another tunnel through that part of the mountain. Let's walk, <clears throat> excuse me, let's walk over there and see what that potentially looks like. Yeah, it's, it's hard to say for sure. <clears throat> how, you know, uh, what's on the other side of that mountain. So we're looking down into this valley here and kind of off over this way. But it does look like there's maybe another canyon through there. I mean, it's definitely doable. It's just a matter of how long, how much time do I want to actually spend on it. The other option would be just to fly down here but I still I can't make any flying vehicles in this game because 
I still haven't found the socket. You know, you need the socket to make all that shit. But it seems to me like you could come through that valley there and then tunnel under that mountain. See, we're looking to the northeast now. And maybe it would come out somewhere around here to get to this little little town here. And I believe this highway, you know, comes down this way. All right, well, something to think about. I would I would need to walk that uh, maybe from the other side before I actually started digging, you know, kind of basically do a survey, right? To figure out how that might work. Um, is there any, I don't have any oh shit drops on me. I was going to say, what if we just bail off the side of here, but it might be a little precarious. It's pretty sheer right here. Pretty sheer. Very cool landscape though. What if we went down this way? Because I think, um, well, see, you got all these mountains that we'd have to pass too to get actually get to this town. I wonder if it would make more sense to go here and go up north through here, which we probably could do. And then you just have the one area here that you'd have to dig through. Hmm, that might be, that might be worth looking at. Okay, yeah, let's go, let's go back down here. And, uh, go check that out, because I'm not so sure we can actually get through this valley over to the town just currently where we are. Hey, my 4 is moving all of its own accord. Yeah, see, there's no, there's no way to pass. Oh, shit, you scared me. Uh, through here at all. Uh, on a vehicle. So this, this valley's kind of a no-go anyway. Unless, you know, we made several tunnels through the mountains kind of thing. Yeah, see, that's not passable either. And this is all very rugged ridges and stuff all along through here. Tell you what, though, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna hop back in the four x four and work my way down through here back to this town, and then I want to drive as far north as we can and assess the possibility of making a highway through there. So I'll see you guys uh, over there. Excuse me. Got something in my throat today. All right, guys. I I went I went ahead and just went back home with the four x four and switched over to the motorcycle because it's um, easier to get around in and much easier on the fuel. Um, and I didn't have all, all my tools with me anyway. So what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna go to this highway over here and follow it down to that other town at the base of the mountain on the north side. And then kind of take a look at things from that direction. Uh, what am I doing? Yeah, I'm getting close to the highway. Here we go. All right, now let's go down this way. I actually haven't been all the way. Uh, have I been down here before? I guess I came out through here, but I haven't ex really explored this town that's down here. So we'll see what that's about. Um, continuing to keep our eyes peeled for chickens and rabbits too, by the way. They seem to be very, very scarce for some reason. Okay, so let's see what we got going on in this place. It's probably just a small, very small desert community, I'm guessing. Where are you? All 
All right, so this road just comes out here in dead ends. What's over this way? Just the open desert, right? Uh, oh, we're looking north. Okay, let's go. Let's go east. We have some kind of a tier five shenanigan going on there. We might investigate at some point. Okay, we come to some mountains there. Let's go south. Kind of sucks doing this at night because of all the nighttime fog we can't see as well. Am I gone? Funeral home. Okay, looks like that's another one of the mines or something. I don't know what that is. Yeah, this is the Rick's Danger Mining, or Danger Rick's Mining, I think it's called. You know, I've never actually been down there. Maybe we should go check that out. This just goes further east. Uh, how far does this road go? It's probably just to the end of town, I guess, I'm guessing. Yeah, okay, dead ends right there. Let's go back this way. And then we'll... Yeah, let's see how far this road goes. Book stop. Okay. So this is as far south as the town goes. So the question is, I've I've been to the base of this hill on the motorcycle from the other direction. So let's go. The ground starts to raise here, but how far couldn't can we just drive until we hit a cliff or something? Okay, right about in here ish. Gotcha. Okay. So what we're going to do is let's park the bike here. I'm going to grab uh, this and this for now. And we could have maybe driven up a little further this way, but we're pretty much stopped right about here for vehicles because it starts to get really steep here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a mark here. We'll call this um, North Tunnel, question mark, because we're not for sure that going to do it from here. And we basically would start burrowing right about there and go due south. So we'd have to go all the way under this mountain here. Oh man, it sure gets rugged there, doesn't it? Okay, let me let's look at the map. Okay, we're gonna have to walk around this way. Can't even see what's down there at this point, but I mean we're getting close to here, and I, I know I've been here on the bike, so that you know that wouldn't be I mean it would be a task, no doubt about it, but we could do it for sure. Um, all right, well that might be kind of a fun project to do, and it just you know opens up access to to this town here in the south, which is a pretty sizable town, and uh, maybe even more importantly, the gas station. So, get out of here. Must have had a horde spawn or something up here on the cliff. 
Either that or they walked up. I don't know. What'd you drop, homie? Uh, I'll take this, this, and this. Don't care about that other stuff. Okay, well, that, uh, I think that would work. I still would kind of like to see what's going on on this other side, but, I mean, to drive the motorcycle all the way around through here, this is super rugged terrain. It is, uh, it's not a fun, it's not a fun trip. <laughs> um, so I guess we could just do it on foot. I'd have to figure out a way to get down. Um, all right, so if we go down this way... Let's get right into this little crack here, then we can get down without breaking our leg. All right, now, where are we at in relation to our tunnel entrance, which is here? So we just need to go a little bit further to, to the east. I do have impact bracers on, so... Okay, so if we go due north and then make sure the X is right over the N-ish, that puts us pretty much directly south of where we would start the tunnel on that side. And then from here, um, we'd have we'd have to traverse this area here, which means we could potentially go up around this way or maybe through here to get to the town. Or I mean, if we had to, we even make another shorter tunnel if if it's really that bad. Let's let's kind of let's look at it. Yeah, see that's that's pretty high, but that doesn't mean we couldn't go around it. Um, it looks pretty rugged going that direction. Let's see what it looks like going this way. Definitely passable through here. Oh, yeah. Definitely passable. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, definitely lets us know there's the town. Easy peasy from here. Okay, so, yeah, I think I'm going to do that, you guys. Just, again, just so I have easy access to this town um, and all of its... Uh, goodness in particular the gasoline but i mean i never and we have a trader down here too uh, keep that in mind as well i never fully explored the town either but here's the gas station right here so we've got eight fully functioning gas pumps at this place that is a lot of gas pumps dudes that is a lot of gas pumps. Um, what we could do is let's go find a car here. Get rid of that asshole. All right, he's coming in. Let's see if anything good in there. Yeah, we'll take that stuff. So let's grab some gas cans off of this car. The other thing it does too is it opens up another town for me to wrench cars because I've pretty much cleaned out my town and well on the way to cleaning out uh, Trader Jen's city to the south of us. Okay, so let's put this here. Let's just see how many gas cans. I don't have any in my inventory, right? Yeah, let's see how many gas cans we can get. Look at that. We had we got over two over two full stacks of gas from those eight pumps. That's beautiful. 
I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So, yeah, there's more, uh, more town, a little more town to the south of here. Let's just, uh, you know, we're on foot. What the hell? I got plenty of food, water, plenty of ammo, weapons. We're good. Let's just explore this town on foot. Not necessarily doing any major looting. I just want to see what all is here. Better drive in there. Uh, is that that old... That's that old water... Water tank place. Oh, we got a small crack -a book here. That's good. We have a big crack -a book somewhere else that we... That I found somewhere. I don't remember where it was that I'd like to hit at some point. Alright, we got a remnant building there. The Navascan Creamery building. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any more buildings to the north. This is a house. Come here, Ronnie McDonnie. There's mo something else over this way. Oh, this is a McDowell's. Okay. He hit the car. Come here, Nancy. I'm going to miss Nurse Nancy in the Alpha 20. Okay, let's keep going. Keep looking around here. Got another house off this way. T3, Nurse Nancy. She's going to be tough. Keep missing their heads, too. And we're out of stamina. All right. Time to get the big guns out. Man. How many shots did that take to kill those guys? They're so freaking tough. Bringing the whole party here. All right. Gather around. Don't make me get my M60 out, you guys. I don't know why you were just standing there for a while, but I appreciate you doing that for me. Thank you. Oh, shit. Reload. So, yeah, the Tier 3s have, shit, 850 hit points, but I'm, they're, like, seriously armored, too. So they take, a, take some doing. I'm pretty much back to just shotgun slugs now for my shotgun, just because we need that armor penetration in the end game here. 
Okay, um, let's take one of these. We are infected. I do have antibiotics back at uh, in the bike, so I'm not really too worried about it. <laughs> let's just keep looking around. Okay, I don't see any more buildings off that direction. We do have something over here, though. the hell is that? I don't think I've ever seen this POI. It looks, uh, looks kind of creepy. I don't know. It's like a camp or something, maybe. Alright, where are we at on the map? So it looks like we're in the Definitely the southernmost part of the town, so we'll follow this road down. Look at the moon and the clouds up there. That's kind of cool looking. Kind of cool looking. Still haven't seen a single chicken or rabbit. What the hell, man? Right, big old house there. This is one of those creepy houses that I keep saying we're going to do. Maybe we'll do it in the next episode. Okay, yeah. We're going to do this creepy house, but the one in our town, in the next episode. That's the plan. Okay, I'm just going to say we got the snow biome to the south of us because I'm seeing evergreen trees. If, you know what would be nice, you know, as, as, since I'm going to make a road down here, if we could actually find a nitrate mine right on the edge and we could drive... I mean, we can drive to the one we have now, but it's just we have to, have to go through a bunch of rugged terrain to get to it. This is all still passable with a vehicle up through here. It's a little bumpy right through here. And we get to the snow. I'm not, uh, oh, we're not gonna be able to see shit. I don't know how well my dude can handle the cold weather. Do I have any? I, we took one of our snow insulator thingamadoodles off. We got one on here. Yeah, so we're wearing one. But yeah, there's there's no point in me walking around here at night I can't, because you can't see anything. What's going to happen is I'm just going to step right on top of a mountain lion's head or something. Okay, well, let's see. Let's look at our map again. Um, let's go back up and just finish uncovering this town. So basically, I'm going to go northwest. That is a neat view, though, up in the sky, I have to say. All right, so we got an old church there. Mobile home, car, junkyard, and this cabin. I think I've been in this cabin before. Oh, there's a big pool there too. Okay. Yeah, I've been in this cabin before. 
We got a spider and a night walker fighting each other. The spider will give us white meat. Okay, more stuff off this way. Where are we at now? And it looks like this is the end of the road for this town. Quite literally. It's kind of funny, you know, that uh, that the random gin puts a town all the way out in the middle of nowhere, completely isolated from the rest of the world. There's like no roads or anything going to it. But we're going to fix that. We are going to make our own road through the mountain there. And it'll get us access to the town, to its resources, such as its gas and its cars. And maybe we can find a new nitrate mine um, at the end of the highway, too, if we end up building one all the way out there. So, pretty cool. All right, you guys. Well, let's see. I'm not entirely sure where we are on our time. because This has been a, a, a little bit out of the ordinary type of episode. Not that that's a bad thing. You know, it's kind of nice to mix things up and do different things as we go along. And uh, so I think I'm going to let you go here. And what I'm going to do is... Where's that damn bug? I hear him. What I'm going to do is go back home, get uh, some food, some coffee, and that kind of thing, and start digging that tunnel. There you are. Do you not see me, or do you see me? I don't think he sees me. Hey, we got a skill point. Look at us and our bad selves. Mo? So this is like Edgar's place? There he is, too, along with his irradiated buddy. Aw, oh, shit. And we got one of them. Jerk Watts gave us a freaking abrasion. Oh, here's the trader, too. Let's actually stop off at the trader real quick. I need to make a an easy access to get to him, like I did at the other one. Uh, we could jack his safe, too. Do I have my lockpicks on me? Yeah, I do. company in a second or right now not shot okay this guy's coming up get over here come from all right I think that takes care of him let's see what's in here a ah, pretty nice Mac 10 and an M1 Garand 
or Garand, or however you, however you pronounce that. All right, let's, uh, we're just going to sell this stuff directly to him, because otherwise I'm going to take it home, sit on it for a while, and then sell it anyway. That I might actually keep. Don't want this, though, for sure. And Safe travel. don't try and hit Trader Joel. He's my friend, even though I just robbed him. <laughs> um, okay, anything else I want to sell to him? Gold can be used There's to make something. What is it? Try a, a usable toilet. What does this do for us? Does it give us some kind of a buff, or is it just for funsies? I don't know. Uh, we'll hang on to the gold. Um, here, we'll sell him these and the cash. And I think we'll probably keep the rest of it. Okay, let's take a look and see what he has in secret stash. Yeah, he doesn't have anything spectacular. Normal stash, we'll take a look. That's kind of expensive. I... At some point, we're, we should be able to start making those. We don't know this. Greater hyperthermal resistance. Um, I don't have enough coin on me to buy that, but we can come back and get it later. And that's about Safe it. Travels. Okay. All righty then. So I'm going to work my way back to the motorcycle. Uh, take an antibiotic. I'm keeping herbal antibiotics on the motorcycle now. And, um, yeah, like I said, go back home, get some supplies, and start working on that tunnel. And uh, when we start the next episode, I will either be done with it or at least in progress and uh, give you guys an update at that point in time on where we're at with it. Okay, so guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.